Let's solve the Alex problem called sketching a described thermodynamic change on a phase diagram. In this problem, you're going to be given a phase diagram that's unlabeled, so you want to make sure you're um, paying attention to the parts of the phase diagram that correspond to solid liquid gas. It's going to give you an initial temperature and pressure for this substance, and then it's going to describe two changes, one change to the pressure and one change to the temperature. And we're going to use this line drawing tool on the phase diagram to kind of sketch out where the pressure and temperature changes are taking place. So the first thing that we have to do is locate the initial temperature and pressure. The initial pressure is 24.8 atmospheres, and that's going to be, you know, right around, this is 20, this is 30, so it's going to be right around the, you know, the 25 mark. And the initial temperature is 105 degrees Celsius. Notice that the temperature scale for the phase diagram is in units of Kelvin, so you want to make sure you do that, that conversion. Our initial temperature is 378, which is, so this is 350, so 378 is going to be right around here. This is going to be our first point. And what I know about this particular problem is that Alex is pretty picky about where you're placing these lines, so you want to make sure that you get them as close as accurate as possible. So it says that the um, the temperature is decreased until the sample freezes. So that means that we our second point, we're going to have the same pressure. We don't want to make a change to the pressure. We want the temperature to go down until it freezes. And freezing is going to fall right on this line right here, the solid liquid equilibrium line. So there's our second point. And I'm trying to get it as accurate as possible. Then it says the temperature is held constant and the pressure is increased. So we want a second line. Oh no, oh here we go. Second line, and it's gonna snap into place on my first line, and um, my pressure is being increased by 19.5 atmospheres. So I'm gonna figure out exactly what that is. 19.5 plus 24.8 is 44.3. So my second point is gonna be up pretty close to 45, and I wanna try to get that line nice and straight because the temperature is not changing. So get right up around here, and we'll see if Alex likes this. Um, these lines are definitely correct. They just might not be straight enough because, like I said, it's really picky about um, you getting these lines as accurate as possible. Looks like we did a good job. Let's do one more. So our initial temperature and pressure, our initial pressure is 23 0.6 atmospheres. This is 25, so we're going to be a little bit under the 25 line. And the initial temperature, 143 plus 273. Our initial temperature is 416. So that's this is 450. 4, 416 is probably right around here. 23. 23.6 atmospheres and 416 Kelvin. And it says that the um, pressure is decreased. So we're decreasing the pressure until it boils. That's going to be the liquid gas line. So we want the temperature to stay constant. Trying to get that line straight. Going right to that liquid gas line. After it's done boiling, then the temperature is going to be increased. So we're going to get a second line, snap it into place. Pressure is being held constant. The temperature is increasing. We just have to figure out how far this temperature increases. It increases by 111 degrees, which is 254 Celsius, which is 527 Kelvin. This is going to be 500 Kelvin, so it's going to be right around there. Let's we'll see how I did. Good. So again, like with these, you just want to make sure you, that you're taking the time to get the lines as close to accurate as possible because Alex is pretty picky about them.